All of this as local health care leaders are getting creative now to get more shots into arms. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck today showing you the countywide effort now underway. How many of you have nieces, nephews that have not been vaccinated? Nieces, nephews, cousins. Get on the phone. Talk to them. Pastor Clarence Williams is making a desperate plea to his St. Pete congregation. His efforts to spread the importance of vaccination now turning personal. I got a call this morning from a family member who we just saw in Washington, D.C. two weeks ago. And, and I was urging them, urging them with all my heart to get vaccinated. And I got a call this morning that the gentleman passed away. From COVID. Williams doesn't want to lose anyone else, so this Friday, and not my son of any's hosting, will include free COVID-19 vaccines. The current state of public health in America is, it's, you know, and, and I don't want to claim it necessarily, but seems to be taking a step backwards. And that's troubling for us because I think everyone's uh, tired of the mass and the mass mandate. The Florida Department of Health in Pinellas County is partnering with nonprofits, workplaces, and even pharmacy delivery services that will come right out to your home. They're also sweetening the deal with a $10 grocery gift card. It's all part of an effort to get thousands of vaccines out to every neighborhood in Pinellas County. The Florida Department of Health in Pinellas County says the biggest factor is building trust to get this vaccine out to more people in our community. Well, what we're finding is that people are actually uh, asking friends, relatives, co-workers who got the vaccine what the experience was like, and they're certainly listening to them. Health department workers are also going out to hotels, including the Safety Harbor Resort and Spa, to focus on vaccinating hospitality workers, guests, and community members. It's just a way to say, you know, we're all in this together, and you know, this is a spot that they can come that's centrally located. Florida ranks 24th in the U.S. for vaccinations, with 49% of people eligible for the shot vaccinated, according to the Florida Department of Health. Williams is doing everything he can to increase that number. We don't need for families to go through the hardship and the hurt of losing a loved one, uh, just to prove a point. In Pinellas County, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.